and welcome back to Spring Break with Claudia. I am actually back from my trip. I am the biggest fail ever because I wanted to film at least two videos while I was at Florida, but the lighting was just never good and the audio sucked because the waves would always interrupt me and I was always backlit. It just... I envisioned that I would be filming in this beautiful tropical, you know, landscape with a nice background and stuff, and it just didn't end up working out, so I decided to save all these videos to film once I'm at home. And yes, I am also wearing a very cheesy gift shop sweater because I always end up getting these. Marco Island. So today I'm going to be doing my what's in my beach bag video, which I have right over here. So starting off with the bag, this bag is from Victoria. Victoria's Secret and it was actually just a free purchase. No, it was actually a free gift with a $35 um, purchase that I got recently, like right before I left. So I decided it was the perfect bag to carry around with me for the beach. And normally this really wouldn't be my number one choice for a beach bag. It's not really my style, the whole pink thing. But I really do like bringing this bag to the beach because um, your things just get very dirty and sandy and wet and stuff like that. And I don't want to bring like an expensive, nice bag that I actually care for to bring to the beach. Um, so that's why I found this to be really useful because I don't care what happens to this thing at all. It has little arm straps at the top as well as a large shoulder strap and the best part of all it has a zipper on top which is really nice because when the wind blows over you don't want like sand getting all up in your bag. So it keeps everything nice and protected and safe and it's, it's good. It's a sturdy bag. Good yeah. Yeah. The first few items that I'm going to show you guys I would normally be wearing on my body, but since I'm not in a beautiful beach area location, I just do them into here to show you guys. So I'm going to start off with my swimsuit, and I want to show this one because it's really, really cute, and I've really been liking it. So both the top and bottom are from Pink. Normally I get swimsuits from Victoria's Secret, but I decided to check out Pink, and I was really happy with what I found. So first off, I got this, or not, I, this is in a haul. The top that I have with me looks like this, so it's just simple and black. And I really like it because it crosses over in the front and it has little like slits right at your ribs. So it just has a really flattering cut. With that top, I really, really like the pink cheeky bottoms. They're new this season and I've got two pairs already, but they're just a bright teal color with a black lining all around and then as you can see on the butt and a little bit on the front it like ruches so these bottoms are super flattering and it's nice because you can tan your butt while you're looking cute that's the first thing that I have in here also I'm of course wearing some sort of cover-up so normally I like to either wear a dress over my bathing suit or a romper I never really do the whole top and shorts thing when I go to the beach I don't know why but I did use this romper a lot and it's from LF. It's just white and then it goes into like a really pretty lilac color. So here's just an example of what I would wear over my bathing suit to the beach. And lastly, I would be wearing some flip-flops and I got these for my 18th birthday. You guys saw them. They're just black Tory Burch flip-flops. So I wore these every single day. <laughs> Can I do that again? So now I'm going to show you guys what I actually carried in my beach bag. So first off, I always, always, always like to bring some sort of book with me because, um, you know, after a while music gets kind of boring. But I decided that I wanted to read Divergent over my trip to Florida and I loved it so much. I already finished it, but I just threw it in here to, you know, give you guys a little visual example of what I would throw in here. I liked it so much that I had to download the second book on my iPad, which normally I don't like reading off my iPad but I just had to do it because it was so good and I cannot wait to read the entire series it's just it's wonderful I just love this book so much so I normally bring some sort of book or magazine to read on the beach next up I of course bring my cell phone and a pair of headphones in case I want to listen to some music I also always like to bring water with me because I get very dehydrated on the beach and it's just very important to keep hydrated here's my water bottle Iced gingerbread flavored water. Yeah. 
You could just pump it into your mouth when you get thirsty. Actually, that would be kind of, no. Okay. Next up, I like to bring two different kinds of sunscreen in my bag. For my body, I have the Sunbum SPF 50 spray sunscreen that I just like to spray all over. And for my face, I like to use a lotion type sunscreen just because my face tends to burn very fast, so I like having like a thicker sunscreen on my face, if that like makes any sense to you guys. Next up, I always like to bring some sort of makeup bag with me, just in case if we end up going anywhere afterwards and I quickly just want to touch up with my face. Um, so I decided that I actually wanted to throw in my monthly glam bag for this month into my beach bag because um, the theme of this bag is actually spring break themed which is perfect because it fit right in with what we're talking about. So as most of you guys know I am an Ipsy stylist which means I create videos for them every single month showing you guys what is inside my glam bag and how I like to use the products and stuff. Um, so I feel like I've always just kind of threw it in tutorials and never really talked about it. So if any of you guys don't know what Ipsy is, it is a monthly subscription website where they send you little glam bags every single month and it's really fun because you never know what you're gonna get so it's kind of like a little surprise in the mail and the bags are also always really cute so that's kind of what I get most excited for I love like the little bags that comes with it so I'm just quickly going to run through the products that I got in my glam bag this month and all of these are like spring break themed so I actually was able to use a lot of these um, so the first product in here is the Vita Liberata luxury tan lotion and it's just a self tanning lotion so this is really nice if you want to just quickly apply it onto your legs or anywhere on your body after the beach if you just want to have that golden glow. And I actually ended up using this a few times over my trip to Florida just to apply onto my legs. It's very fast. The color shows pretty much right when you apply it onto your skin, which is nice. Just make sure that when you use this lotion, you wash your hands immediately after applying it on because you don't want black looking fingers. I have been there, I've gone through that. It was not a pleasant time, so I definitely recommend washing your hands after using it. But yeah, that was in there, as well as a body butter and I kind of freaked out inside when I saw this in my glam bag because I am really really obsessed with the Pacifica lotions. I have some floral scented one as well as like the blood orange or something like that. It's really popular. But this is the Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar Body Butter which smells so freaking good. It smells exactly like coconuts and just other tropical um, goodness stuff. I don't... I'm not good at explaining scents, I'm sorry. But yeah, keeping a lotion or body butter in your beach bag is always a really good idea because your skin tends to get very dry when it's just sitting out in the heat. So it's really good to be able to moisturize your skin once you get back from the beach. So I definitely really appreciated having this body butter in here because I was able to just quickly apply it on to my entire body. Next up, I also got an eyeliner and this is the Chella Eyeliner Pen in Indigo Blue. and this product is actually waterproof and smudge proof so if you're one of those girls that likes to wear just a little bit of makeup to the beach then this is perfect because you can create a winged eyeliner look or just apply it onto your lower lash line and this one is really fun because it is like it said an indigo blue color so it just gives you a nice little vibrant pop to your face the next two products that I got in my glam bag would be nice to wear after the beach if you're going out anywhere so the first one is the NYX Love in Rio Trio. <laughs> that rhymed. Um, and it's just a little eyeshadow trio. In here, you've got a light, creamy eyeshadow that is perfect for highlighting your eyes or just applying it into the inner corners of your eyes. Then you have a medium toned kind of bronzy eyeshadow. And lastly, you get a black eyeliner inside, which is nice because you can also use it as an eyeliner if you want to just pat it on your waterline or on your upper lash line and smoke it out. So I've got that. And the last product that I got in my glam bag was the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lipstick in the shade Get Ready, which is just kind of a darker, rosy 
Disney pink color. The size of it may be one of the reasons why I really love this lipstick because it is so compact and perfect to uh, throw into your bag or anywhere so it's great for travels and it's overall just a very nice and versatile color that will look great with like any look. The next thing that I have in Le Beach bag is kind of an obvious one. I don't know why I didn't show this earlier but it is a towel so I've just got this blue looking towel. So I've actually only got two more things left in my bag. I don't really like to carry a lot because I don't like it to be very heavy. So the second to last thing I like to carry, I dropped it. It truly is never a Claudia video without me dropping something. Um, so the second to last thing that I like to carry in my beach bag is a hairbrush and this is the Tangle Teaser. It looks like a little hairbrush for a cat or something but it's for humans and I really like these palm size handbrushes because they just really get the knots out. And last but not least, of course, a pair of shades. These are a little bit more on the sassier side because they've got a cat eye shade to them, but I'm pretty sure I got these from Forever 21, I believe. I mean, I pretty much get all of my glasses from there, so I would believe that I got them from there. Obviously, you want to protect your eyes from the sun, and it's a lot easier to read with these on rather than trying to read with your naked eyes. So that is everything that I like to keep in my beach bag. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to keep updates with all of my Spring Break with Claudia videos. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye guys.